MPLS networks versus the internet, a tele-explainer. If you have multiple business locations that need to communicate, you'll need network connections that go beyond your corporate LAN. You can't create these yourself. You'll need a service provider, also called a carrier, to bridge the distance across town, across the country, or around the world. Three popular approaches are point-to-point -point private lines, internet VPN, and MPLS VPN. Let's look at the merits and limitations of each. Many companies start out with a single private line that connects one location to another. These can be T1 lines, DS3 connections, Ethernet over copper, fiber optic Ethernet, or Sonnet. The advantage of private lines is that they are dedicated to your exclusive use, they're low in latency jitter and packet loss, and they're highly secure. This is an excellent choice for connecting two locations. The downside to private lines is that they become complicated to manage and get expensive as you add more and more locations. Each location needs its own link back to headquarters, where a company switch or router handles communications between sites. There is no economy of scale. Each link has a particular cost regardless of how many or how few you install. The high cost of private lines for multiple locations at long distances has most companies looking for a solution that ties together their offices, factories, warehouses, medical centers, or school campuses without breaking the bank. The Internet seems like a natural fit since it goes just about everywhere and is relatively cheap to access. Indeed, if you can make the Internet work for your needs, you'll be hard-pressed to find a more cost-effective solution. Connectivity is easy to come by. The big issues are security and performance. The Internet is probably the least secure network you can find. It is easily accessed by anyone and everyone. Your data packets are intermingled with everyone else's, so there is no private corridor that connects only your locations. Anyone who can tap into the data stream can read your traffic if they wish. The solution is to create a private tunnel within the public Internet. This is done by securely encrypting each packet so that it is unreadable while on the Internet. The result is not a truly private network, but a virtually private network or VPN. An excellent example is the SSL or Secure Socket Layer Encryption that's used for e-commerce. It gives businesses and consumers the confidence they need to make purchases and to do their banking online. A more difficult situation to resolve is the performance characteristics of the Internet. This is a public resource, so your traffic has no priority over anyone else's. The system is self-routing, so you never know what path your packets will take. For common file transfers, email, or web browsing, this is generally no big deal. However, it can cause real headaches with highly interactive or real-time processes. Examples are cloud services, VOIP telephone calls, and video conferencing. At any given time, things may be working smoothly. A minute later, your calls are garbled, or there is hesitation in getting a response from the cloud. An alternative to the public Internet is a privately run MPLS network. MPLS stands for Multi-Protocol Label Switching. That's a mouthful, but it simply means that this network can handle all types of protocols, including Ethernet and TDM, and it uses a proprietary technology to route data it's called label switching. Label switching is a system to encapsulate each packet into a special label that contains the information about source, destination, and priority. The label is added when the packet enters the network and removed when it leaves. While on the network, only the label is used to forward packets. The IP content of the packet is ignored. This is equivalent to the Internet VPN process and MPLS networks are often called MPLS VPN networks for that reason. Security is provided by the network being privately run and accessible only to subscribers. It's hard to tap into the MPLS network because there are no public access points and because of the proprietary label switching process that doesn't depend on Internet protocol. For the ultimate in security, you can choose to encrypt your data before handing it off to the MPLS network. What about MPLS network performance? These networks are operated by major telecom carriers with their own fiber optic networks. They're carefully engineered to provide more than enough resources to handle the traffic of all users. This gets rid of the network congestion 
and the latency and jitter issues it causes. Also, your traffic can be assigned to a priority class so that highly sensitive voice and data communications aren't affected by large file transfers occurring at the same time. As you might expect, an MPLS solution will likely cost more than simply using the Internet, but still be far more reasonably priced than multiple dedicated private lines. You simply pay for the portion of the network capacity you'll be using, plus a short private line connection, either copper or fiber, from each location. For that, you'll have a high-performance, reliable, and secure metropolitan and wide area networking solution that nicely complements your local networks. Which type of network connections will work best for your particular business or organization needs? For free consultation and solutions customized to your needs, please call toll-free 888-848-8749. Or you can visit telexplainer.net to enter your requirements online.